Hi and welcome to Industry Update, your source for the latest news in the ad specialty industry. I'm Dave Agnoni. In this week's headlines, California-based supplier Cafe Press is going public. The internet-based company is looking to raise as much as $80 million in an initial public offering. The goal is to use the proceeds for working capital and technology investment. Revenues at Cafe Press jumped 46% in the first quarter, but the company still posted a loss of $831,000. In other news, the USDA has announced new rules for sunscreen products, hoping to reduce the risk of skin cancer. The agency's testing will now tell consumers if a sunscreen is a broad-spectrum product, which means it protects against both ultraviolet rays A and B. Any product that is not broad spectrum or has an SPF between 2 and 14 will be required to have a warning statement. We continue now with news from Canada where tougher product safety rules will take effect on Monday. While many of the requirements mirror provisions of U.S. product laws, some of the rules in Canada are even stricter. For example, recall triggers are broader and reporting timelines are tighter. For more information on the new rules, be sure to check out Counselor Promogram. Also this week, supplier firm Boxercraft has named a new CEO. His name is Charles Sutleaf, a former executive at Hartwell Apparel and Delta Apparel. Sutleaf's main job will be to expand and accelerate Boxercraft's growth strategies. And finally today, a new survey released by Merchant Circle shows 90% of small businesses plan to maintain their staffing levels or hire more workers in the next three months. Also, 57% of respondents say they expect their sales to improve during the summer. Remember, for the latest industry news and videos, check out Counselor Promogram and keep track of trends, happenings, and research on our ASS Central Facebook page and through Twitter. We hope you'll join us again next week. Until then, for Industry Update, I'm Dave Agnoni. Have a great day.